That's where we're heading. Yeah. Wow. Like, I don't know if you can hear the running water in the background, but we have literally come to a waterfall in the desert. I genuinely didn't think places like this existed in real life, only in stories, so... I just love people. <laughs> If you're anything like us, you probably had no idea that 60 million years ago, the Sahara Desert was actually underwater with like sea creatures and stuff. But now we're driving on it, traveling in our van through the south of Tunisia, realizing the desert is so much more than just sand. Today, we're on the hunt for what the sea left behind, a natural desert waterfall in a real life oasis. We have woken up in what can only be described as an epic park up. We've got huge mountains behind us, a couple of palm groves for company, and then just nothingness in the desert over there. And when you think of the Sahara, you think of nothingness, just sand everywhere. But today we're gonna show you some of the different parts of what's in the desert. Yeah, we slept so peacefully here last night absolute serenity with all of just these palm trees like i can't believe it the palm tree backdrop behind the van and then this crazy mountain landscape behind us it just like juts up out of nowhere with like this jaggedy top and hopefully we're going to explore a bit more of that today Crash. a little bit off roading to get to that park up Wow, there's literally nothing out there, is there? No. I don't know if I will ever get used to driving through the dusty, arid landscape of the desert areas. And then just this like pop of luscious green date palm trees just like springs up out of nowhere. I, I genuinely don't think I'll ever get used to it. It's so, so beautiful. Such a contrast between like the green and the brown. Like, mm, I love it here. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, lovely. Wow. Nice. Wow, it's beautiful. And you have to walk down the river? Come on with me, I can you twist it. Okay, well, we were about to drive down this bumpy track and uh, met a lovely guy, Farouk and he has told us that there is a secret entrance into the canyon here um, that most tourists don't go to but he says he can show us the way into the canyon we're open to exploring the unexplored so <laughs> if he can show us the way we're quite happy we always think if we open ourselves up to people they will be kind yes. and they will give us value we are putting our trust in farouk let us see where he takes us. <laughs> right, we are climbing, clambering down through um, a natural um, palm tree oasis, which is, Farouk is saying is 300 years old, naturally grown, so not planted in perfect lines like a lot of them that, um, that we have experienced so far. This one is actually natural from when the caravans of nomads would travel around and eat dates and then chuck the seeds down. So the palms are like all over the place. And apparently this is the secret route down into the gorge. I feel like we're trespassing. Okay. Oh. He's on such a mission. I'm like, I've been like run to keep up. <laughs> wow. This is incredible. It's huge. Yeah, yes, after here, let me. This is so cool, I didn't expect to be rock climbing today, but I'm all for it. <laughs> yes! Farouk took us to explore the hidden rocky valley of Tamarza, and within minutes, we could see exactly why it gets its name, the Golden Canyon. This is what happens when you say yes. We have it all to ourselves. 
I'm just, I just love people. <laughs> This is certainly an unexplored hidden gem on the edge of the Sahara, like, wow. I have never been in a canyon or gorge as incredible as this. Wow, what a train, train. It's just created this tunnel of water. Yes. Water Whoa. and stone, flood. Wow. Very dangerous with water. Yes, fast as well, yes. yeah? Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, Farouk is like a parkour artist. He just like hops from rock to rock and we're like running to try and keep up with him. <sighs> I'm out of breath, but I'm feeling so full of life right now. <sighs> Pumped. How old? 60 million years old. 60 million years old. This come come from Algeria with rainwater, this fossils. Wow. The stone come all from Algeria, three kilometers the border. Farouk was just saying that there's been no rain here for six years. <laughs> Which coming from Yorkshire, <laughs> I get that is an insane concept to us because we have so much rain. It's really hard to comprehend how water has shaped this wild, rocky landscape over like millions of years, considering how dry and arid it feels right now. Rainwater of years gone by would have like run off the surrounding hills, feeding the natural palm oasis and carving out this dramatic gorge. It truly is one of the most spectacular natural places we have been in the whole of Tunisia. But we are still desperate to find a waterfall. We just need to grab some local street food first. Oh, look, a little palm tree tunnel. Be careful, yeah. Yes, okay, watch your head. Like, who built this? Was this the door guides? Is it the local people who own these gardens? There's a little house here. Oh my god. This is just so cool. We love these kinds of experiences. Unexpected, unexplored places. Just get me that's right that, there. That, that's literally us. Us down to a T. I think we've come full circle. Maybe. <laughs> that was like the quickest tour. Well, that was a whirlwind 45 minutes. Literally, maybe an hour. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, those hills, it's just insane. It's like the Grand Canyon. Yeah. In Tunisia. <laughs> You know, what's more unusual than eating pizza in the desert? I can't remember the actual name for it. No, me neither. It begins with an M, I believe. If someone could put it down in the, in the, in the comments. comments. But we just call it Berba pizza. Oh my god, it's so good. Wash it down with a mint tea with a bit of lemon. Oh god. Courtney's in, in the shop asking for the price of a wooden camel. This is not going to end well. <laughs> I got a camel! You did not tell me it's an absolute weapon. <laughs> I love it though, it's totally worth it. I, I love finding like the gems in the um, tourist shop. So this is the only one in there, yeah. solid wood. Everything else is like made of plastic. I do like Dave. Dave, welcome to the family, Dave. <laughs> Okay, Dave, are you ready? Right. Oh, I need to put my belt on. Honestly, safety first. So, we're currently having to walk through, having to, like it's uh, such a hardship. <laughs> we're currently walking through a Berber village, a really old historic one. That's, it's, it's a ruin, essentially. Um, it's been here for well over 500 years, which is pretty amazing and just looking out on the view like you would see everything coming there's just vastness out there it's a cool position that's where we're heading <laughs> you can hear the water oh Cafe. no messy we just had <laughs> ah this way uh, okay merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. no thank you <laughs> no thank you always the way at these uh touristy places um there's always people wanting to sell you uh 
jewelry and stuff. And also, like, we understand that it's how they make their money, but if we bought from every single shop, it would be, <laughs> the van would be too full. And we would be broke. Yeah. <laughs> Ça va? Photo. Photo. It's a video. Oh, you would take a photo of us. <laughs> okay, you just hold, it's recording. It's good. It's good. English. 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 For YouTube. <laughs> I love you. Photo. It's okay. <laughs> can we take Merci. your photo? We can take your photo? Okay. <laughs> oh, me and you? Okay, yeah. Come in. Friend. <laughs> friend. Amor. friend. Amor. 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 Nice to meet you. Cheese. So lovely. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Nice the to meet you. Cascade is up this there. This way? Yeah. This is Algeria? Yeah, Algeria. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Your name? Amor. 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 Nice I to am meet you. James. James. Yes. Shakira. <laughs> Shakira. Shakira. I wish Shakira. <laughs> this, yeah. <laughs> no. Waka, waka. Waka, waka, eh, eh. Photo of us. Okay, another mm. photo. Okay. It's good. <laughs> Cheese, <Jeez>. my <laughs> beautiful. Oh, oh stop! So are you? <laughs> we are heading into the canyon. Ooh. <laughs> Goodbye, Amor. <laughs> Meeks just gave our new friend Amor just ten dinar, which is like two pounds, just to say thanks for showing us the way. We want to explore on our own without a guide, um, but it was nice for him to point us <laughs> in the right direction and point out Algeria at the border and two pound to us is nothing, so I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Wow, wow, wow! Can you believe this is the desert? I know! This is cool. Not what I expected. Mountains in the desert! This is the thing that's weird. Like, I don't know if you can hear the running water in the background, but we have literally come to a waterfall in the desert. Those words don't go together in my head. Like, let's go see it. Okay. <laughs> what was that, like a flash move? Were you just gonna like magic yourself somewhere I am else? wearing like my orange fire <laughs> outfit, flash outfit. <laughs> Crystal clear water in, in the middle the of the desert. Wow. How warm do you think it is? Not warm. This is not swimming warm, I don't think. It's really warm. Shirk. It's hot. It's Shirk. hot. It's genuinely hot. Oh my god, we Sorry. need to get our swimming costume. This is a hot spring in the desert. It's not just a river, it's a hot spring <laughs> in the desert. Oh, it's like a bath. Oh. We didn't bring our cozies. So those lines, I think, depict where the water level has been over time. So like the different periods in time as it slowly, slowly dropped, receded, receded yeah. and eroded to like what must be what, 25, 30 meters. Yeah. This isn't even the best bit. We're literally walking down like a river in the desert. <laughs> I still, I still can't comprehend this. It's awesome. Like, absolute must do in Tunisia. It is, it is. Ah. Water! You waterfall. An actual waterfall in a canyon in the desert near the Algeria border. Can you get more unusual than that? I genuinely didn't think places like this existed in real life, only in stories. So this is a very cool moment right now. I just met a local guy, one of the um, sellers on the stalls, and he was saying that it's a natural hot water spring that comes from the mountain down into the canyon flows through the rocks and then comes out at that waterfall point. So very, very cool. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Nothing like I've ever seen before. No, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Like, this is such a hard thing when there's, 
I'm not going to even exaggerate here. There's like 20 sellers all selling the same thing. And they go, it's one dinar. Yes, one dinar is not much money, but we do not need it. We do not want it. And if we buy from one, then we feel like we have to buy from everyone. And oh, it's, it's such a dilemma because we want to come and experience this by ourselves. Like we want that feeling of like, what is this? And then it's like, oh, you just, you want to just give money to everyone, but you can't, we're only two people. It's not going to change anything, so. Yeah, we do what oh. we can and we gave that guy 10 dinar yeah, for yeah. showing us the way. So that's, that's our it, good that's deed. It. I guess when we feel this value in what we've had or what there is to buy, then we'll buy it, absolutely. But when we feel like it's not valuable, probably gonna get rinsed in the comments for this, but that's just our view on it, I think. Yeah, it's really difficult. But what a place. Very cool place. What a place. Come here, sir. Oh. <laughs> just to add to what Meeks was saying, I was just feeling like, I wish all of the sellers were like out the front um, rather than dotted all through the canyon because I feel like if we were alone in there, it would feel very different and we should be able to connect with like the nature and the natural wonder of it all but it's very difficult when you also feel a little bit guilty and then you feel a bit rushed and oh yeah dilemma but still a beautiful place you know what will help now what coffee yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh so our friend Amor has met us at the end <laughs> and he's just given me a gift natural crystal <laughs> oh natural crystal thank yeah. you Thank you very much. Merci, uh, merci. Merci. Merci Thank you. Now this is something we will pay through the nose for. Cheers. They like their strong coffee. <laughs> <laughs> After a full-on day exploring, we closed the blinds and spent the evening chilling in our tiny home outside the police station where the local authorities felt we were safest because we were in close proximity to the Algeria border, understandably. So we will see you next Monday.